Aotearoa, we're lucky enough to live in one of the most beautiful countries on earth. Rolling landscapes, golden beaches and native bush are just some of the attractions of this place we call home. Unfortunately, as humans expand into the natural world, we encroach on its beauty. In the process of creating an environment which sustains our fast-paced consumerist lifestyle, we've plagued our kāinga with man-made infrastructure. By introducing other types of beauty to our environment, we can move towards ameliorating the loss of aesthetic. Public artworks, such as murals, create a web of sustainability, reducing crime, supporting artists, saving government funds and educating our communities. Through Auckland Council's Create a Mural program, more and more bland concrete walls are given new meaning as spectacular art pieces. On the outskirts of Auckland City, Auckland Council has commissioned the transformation of a nearby building, the target of frequent vandalism. Rising to the challenge are Waimauka based artists, Mandy and Tanya. The area of Kumu, uh, Waimauka and Murawai is a really stunning place. It's just for some reason an area that doesn't have a lot of public art, so we're really excited about bringing you know, some of that sort of art to this area. This time we were approached by Auckland Council to um, create something amazing on the fruit shed on State Highway 16 and um, we were asked to find an artist that would be sort of appropriate for that kind of space and I instantly thought of, of Tanya who's one of our educators, Tanya Blong. Um, she does beautiful work that um, I felt would really fit for that kind of um, location and that kind of um, intention I guess. Tanya chose the theme for her mural with the intention to sustain the community's understanding of its culture as a wine and fruit growing area. I really was inspired by the local history yeah. and the Dalmatians coming and settling on the land. Yeah. So yeah, we started with this and um, I really played around with some different patterns and designs using like an old sort of paper doll cutout style. Public art, such as murals, has many benefits, creating an impressive web of sustainability. Albany Senior High School is one of the institutions which sees the many benefits of this type of initiative and encourages students to decorate the campus as part of the school's impact project program, run by property manager Nigel Bent. Students came with me with the idea that they wanted to put on this board and I said, why don't you put it on the wall? You know, why don't we use the wall as the canvas? It's a blank wall, let's use it. Giving the kids the opportunity to do those walls that aren't graffiti, but is an expression of that to a next element regarding the amount of artwork you now see on the walls. I think people then respect that space a bit more and they acknowledge that and say, oh, that's cool, so therefore they're not going to tag it. The biggest graffiti issues we've had is within the school, largely the boys' toilets. So we have been trying to get someone to graffiti the toilet. I mean, artistically graffiti the toilet. It's a buzz. Man, to see you guys get pumped and have an idea and then be able to deliver that idea and say, hey, there's no boundaries to what you have now got. It's a good idea. Nigel has found that, generally, taggers will seek out clean slates to vandalise. By creating murals on these target zones, a concrete wall becomes converted from a blank canvas to a vibrant art piece, deterring taggers and vandalists. Helen Smith works with Auckland Council to prevent tagging through mural art. Projects such as this have a preventative impact on vandalism and a positive impact on community wellbeing. We're delighted to empower and support the community to achieve these outcomes and create artwork for daily commuters and visitors to enjoy. Last year, Auckland Council spent $4 million on graffiti removal. An expanded public art program could see less graffiti across the city, saving the council taxpayer funds to be redirected elsewhere. Back in Waimauku, Artist Tanya Blong has almost completed the painting stage of her mural. One aspect of the public art web of sustainability is potential youth involvement. In this case, up and coming young artist Izzy is being mentored by Tanya as they create the Good Fruit mural. Seven months on from the mural's installation, the art piece remains as it was first painted. What was once a frequently targeted space for taggers has now become a community treasure. Auckland Council has worked with Tanya to provide a sign detailing the painting's origins in order to educate the community about local history. This weaves another strand into the sustainability web, igniting the community's passion for culture. In a modern industrial world, it's important to include beauty in our day-to-day -day lives. Not only does public art achieve this, it also positively impacts Aotearoa's financial economy, prevents crime in our cities, supports artists striving to make a difference and enhances community culture and history, leaving behind a legacy for future generations to enjoy.